In this video, we're going to cover the metaphysical potential of sleep paralysis. Hey Catacomb Culture, this is Reverend Albert Serino. I understand sleep paralysis is a very scary thing for many people and uh, originally it was for me too. Now I kind of want to propose a new uh, perspective on what sleep paralysis may be and the potentials that it actually may have for metaphysical experience. First thing is that in sleep paralysis, our body we know is fully asleep. So energetically, we could still be awake. We have a body, an energetic body, that we could move into and, and move into a plane which is sometimes termed the astral plane. So generally the astral plane is what some refer to as the spirit plane or the energetic plane um, or just the realm of the other dimensions and other frequencies that exist in and around us. So I took all the information that I gathered and I decided to try for myself some new techniques. In the beginning, I, I didn't really have much of an option when it would happen. It would be kind of on and off. So I would just have to be prepared, mentally prepared for when it did happen. So like I said, I was panicking in the, at the start, but then I decided, well, okay, if I could settle down and just be at peace, you know, maybe what, something else could come of it. So that's what I tried to do. Initially, when it came on, I, my, my mind wanted to panic, but I initially just sat still, um, just imagined myself nice and relaxed, and just kept, just kept saying that it's okay, everything is fine, you know, you're safe, everything is fine. And I just kind of talked myself down into a space where I was just nice and calm in that, in that space, knowing that um, everything was the way it was, and I was okay with it. And right at that point of me doing so, I kind of began to feel my body uh, or what felt like something within myself, I'll, I'll call it my energy body now, just kind of uh, disassociate from my, my physical body. And it almost felt more inward um, than, than outward uh, in, a, in a weird way. Uh, but it, it began to feel like I was moving into another space. And I was still conscious of this, you know, I still had... Um, I still had the part of me that was aware of what was going on and once I slipped into this space I immediately thought well hey here's a place that I could do anything so my first uh, initial thought was to try to fly and during this experience I was weightless um, a world seemed to appear below me and I, I seemed to just kind of fly freely through it uh, and that was one of the most liberating experiences of my life knowing that I I faced the fear and it had such a benefit for me and I enjoyed it so much. After, as this experience kind of went on and played out its time, uh, I, at some point, I dropped right back into my body and I felt that experience, that sensation again and my body being asleep and I was being awake. And then I, I thought, let me try um, a technique that is something like you would do uh, coming out of hypnosis or coming out or trying to get someone's attention. I said, I'm going to clap on three and my body's going to wake up. And I said, one, two, three, and I, I thought that I was clapping. And when I did that really hard, um, I woke right up. My body kind of took that trigger that I told it was going to do and I woke back up. As the experiences continued, I kept practicing those techniques and just when I got into that space or that free um, weightless space, I thought of something and allowed it to unfold and happen before me and then I eventually I would kind of naturally drop back into my body and create a trigger to uh, tell myself I was going to uh, trigger something to, to get me back up. Now the triggers sometimes don't work the first time so don't panic. Just tell, tell yourself more firmly you're going to do this and say, you know, count, do a countdown if you need to, three, two, one, and um, do some kind of smack or slam, whatever you, you imagine, and get your body to respond. So if it doesn't work the first time, be more stern. It will happen, you'll wake right up and you'll be okay. So since my first few experiences and when I first discovered that I could have a good time after uh, settling in from sleep paralysis, um, I've experienced many different things, things that seemed uh, otherworldly. I've seen, I've experienced places that I don't readily recognize uh, in this reality. 
Um, I've encountered some certain kinds of um, beings that seemed pretty benevolent to me. Um, I've had a lot of interesting experiences with this, and it's it's really uh, gave me a lot of new perspectives on what some of these states are and what sleep paralysis is a doorway to. So just a few key takeaways if you find yourself in sleep paralysis. First thing is relax. Talk yourself down if you need to. Get yourself into a space that you um, are, that you feel safe and comfortable and that just that keep telling yourself. Keep saying that you're protected, everything's okay, and allow yourself to get relaxed. When you get to that space, then allow yourself to surrender and sink into the experience and see where it leads you. Um, if at any time you come back into your consciousness awake in your physical body or right as the sleep paralysis sets on, uh, a way to get yourself out is to create a trigger. This is kind of like the idea when you're in your dream and you fall off a ledge and you instantly wake up. But this is one that you create yourself. So allow yourself in that dream, in that dream state, tell yourself what's going to happen um, and give yourself that jolt that you need for the physical body to bring itself back up. If you have any experience with sleep paralysis or have any unique perspectives on it, please drop us a comment in the comment section below. To check out other videos like this one, check out www.catacomb.tv.